What's up you guys, it's your boy Xavier Kick. In today's video, we're gonna go over the full supply list that you need to start customizing shoes or start a customizing shoe bit. I just wanna give a quick shout out to Jordan Benson. He had made a similar video like this a couple years ago. So you guys, with all that being said, let's hop in today's video. This is gonna be no fluff, straight to the point, let's go. Okay, you guys, before we hop in today's video, I'm gonna be going from the cheapest budget all the way to no budget. Okay, the first budget is the very, very cheapest budget that you can start customizing shoes under $20. The very first thing you need is acetone. You need to prep the shoe. I've, you've seen me do it, multiple videos and multiple different ones. You need 100% pure acetone. I get this from Walmart. Make sure to check out your Walmarts and get you some acetone. I think this is around three bucks, three to four bucks. Next thing you need is leather paint or Posca marker, okay? Posca marker, you can get a black one on Amazon. But I wanna say around three dollars, okay? So. You all in at like $6 or you can get an Andrews paint from Amazon for about like four or $5, okay? So even even that, we'll say we're all in at about um, $8, okay? So $8 and now all you need is a finisher. And a finisher you can get from like Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, a matte finisher. And that finisher is only gonna cost you around six to seven bucks, okay? So you're all in under $15 at $14 to start customizing shoes today. All you need is a black pasta marker, you need prepper, I said prepper, you need acetone, you need a finisher, okay? Now we're gonna take another step up from that budget, from $20 to $50, okay? So the paint I would recommend is Angela's Leather Paint, okay? And in this paint, you can get it from angelsdirect.com. You can get a starter kit that comes with actually brushes and you can get yellow, red, it's like its own starter kit, right? And this is coming in at $28, okay? You get multiple different colors and you get paint brushes. You cannot beat that, all right? You still need acetone, so that's gonna cost you around three bucks. So you're all in at $31. And then also, you got to go get some tape, okay? You can get this tape from Angelus, right? Angelus has masking tape, right? And I wanna say it's a right around six to seven dollars, all right? Even if you do all that math right there, you're still under $50. And let's go over the tier one more time, the, the $50 tier. You're gonna need acetone, you're gonna need the leather paint with the paint brushes, you're gonna need some tape to mask it off if you're not that good at painting, and then you're also gonna need finisher, okay? Those are four things you will need, all right? Next budget is gonna be like the, not the beginner budget, we're gonna say intermediate budget. It's a budget under $100. dollars. Okay, so the very first thing you need to get is acetone, okay? You need acetone in every budget. Get this from Walmart, three dollars. Can't beat that, three dollars for like a big jar, all right? The next thing you need is red vinyl tape. You, All the people that watch my videos or watch other customizers, you see this red vinyl tape. I'll put it in the description below. You can find this on Amazon. This is where I get it, this is where most people get it, unless you get the red vinyl tape from Angela's Direct, which is about $7, so you're all in at 10. All right, so you can get like a full pack of like colors, like the main colors, right? And that's gonna cost you around 39 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, 39 bucks while recording this video. So after that, right, you got the colors, you got the paint, you got the red vinyl tape, you gotta go get brushes, right? You wanna get the brushes from AngelusDirect.com. They got the main brushes and they got the very small detail brushes, okay? You wanna get both of them because you're gonna need them especially if you're doing like some crazy awkward art work, you're gonna need them brushes. And after that, of course, you need some finishers. You know what I'm saying? You need finisher. You need matte finisher, you need gloss finish. You get this from Walmart, Home Depot, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Hey, I need one of these stores to sponsor. <laughs> what you can get to, to maximize this budget, because I think we're right at around 50, 60, or maybe $70. So, get you a complete set of Posca markers. Get you a complete set, right? Get you some Posca markers and get some finisher and you should be straight. This budget is under $100. If my math is correct, if I laid it all right here, it should be under $100, all right? Now, we went from beginner, we went from cheapest, beginner, intermediate. This is the expensive budget. We ain't even got to ultimate yet. This is expensive, right? So, 
This expensive is under 200 bucks, all right? So we have acetone, you know, three, four dollars. You get that from Walmart. And then next, you get you two things to take. You need two, three things to take. Not buying tape. That's cost you about 30 bucks, all right? So then you want to get the paint main colors, right? You want to get the main colors. That's going to come in at $39, all right? $39. Then you want to get some finisher. You want to get the matte finisher. You want to get some model matte finisher. You know what I'm saying? You want to get two cans. Or you want to get like matte finisher and the matte finisher on Andrews Direct, right? I think that's about $6. And then the cans both will be like, you know, $7 a piece. So like 14, 7 plus 7, 14 plus another 5 or 6 is like 19, 20 bucks, okay? Then the next thing you want to get is you want to get the ultimate pack of Posca Marcus. You want to get the ultimate pack, you know? You want to get all the colors, right? And I think you can get this on Amazon. If I'm not mistaken, I think you can get this for 80 bucks, 80, 70 bucks. So if you got 70 bucks there and you got Angela's paint, Angela's, Angela's neon colors too as well, right? And you got all of this, this should come in at under 200 bucks. So we went from cheap, beginner, intermediate, expensive. Now we're about to go all in, okay? We're about to go all in, an all in type of budget. You know what I'm saying? So all in type of budget, ultimate budget, you can get all right, we're gonna run through acetone, we're gonna run through red tape, and we're gonna run through uh, finish, right? You can get a neon color kit for $41. This comes all neon colors, Angelus, all right? Then you can get the complete color list from Angelus, $263. All the colors, all the colors you need, $263. You guys, if you have a no type of budget, like if, you're, if you just got money, made of money like that, all right? Then after that, what you want to go get is the complete set of suede dye. That comes in around $51.50. The next thing you want to get is leather dye. You're going to need leather dye, so you might as well get it. That comes in about 50 bucks. Then you want to get the whole Angelus brush kit. You know what I'm saying? You want to get that. You want to get all the, all the detail brushes, the bigger brushes. You want to get all of that, right? That's gonna come in at 20 some bucks, okay? 20 bucks, all right? If you wanna take a step up, you got to get an airbrush gun, airbrush compressor. Now, the airbrush guns I get from Hobby Lobby, you know, Hobby Lobby, right? 68 bucks, 68 bucks. I kid you not, 68 bucks, right? Then you wanna get the airbrush gun. I get the airbrush, I mean, not the airbrush gun, the airbrush compressor. I get that on Amazon for $140, $140, a really good airbrush gun, $140, all right? Then after that, you wanna go get a Cree Cut machine. I got a Cree Cut, uh, Cricut, a Cricut, I said Cree Cut, a Cree Cut, Cricut, Cricut, Cricut. I got $200, Hobby Lobby, this helps you make stencil. So you guys, um, that's in at the all, all in budget, and I think, I'm gonna just have the number pop up because I can't do all this math in my head. It's like right here with 20 and the 30. So the number's gonna be right here. This is the all in budget you're gonna need, okay? If you want to start customizing shoes, or if you want to start customizing shoes as a business, you have to think about your budget. How much are you willing to spend on this stuff, okay? And this is the thing if you do one shoe, right, and you do it like a Louis Vuitton or like a Gucci or like a one of those shoes like I've done you'll be able to make about $70, $80 per shoe. I mean, really, right now. So if you invest into that, you will make money. But this is the thing. You wanna get better and better and better. The, the more detail you put on your shoe, the more you have to charge, okay? You guys, hopefully this video was very knowledgeable. Hopefully you, you learned something from it. And I'll put all the links in the description below. Make sure you go pick up some materials, okay? So all that being said, this your boy Xavier Kicks. We on the road to 500,000 subscribers. All that being said, I'ma let y'all go. Peace.